We are back out here another day. We've got two units at this location here. I paid 200 and I paid, let's see, I'm trying to remember the prices here. $250 for one. And then the other unit I paid $360, I believe it was. 250 and 360, yeah. All right, so this is the first one right here. This is the cheaper unit. It's a 10 by 10. They're both 10 by 10s. Oh, Ann's not with me today. Ann, she had some doctor stuff to go to. And I don't know if for the people who've been watching a long time because he ain't been out with me in a long time because he's in school and everything, but school is out. But Billy, my son, he's here to help me. So we're gonna knock these things out. Not gonna go through everything because I only have about a little over two hours before this location closes. And they kept, and we're about, we're over an hour away from the store. And they kept a $200 deposit per unit. So they're holding $400 of my money right now for these two units. So I want to get these things on the truck and get my money back before they close at six so that I don't have to drive all the way back here. So we'll show a little bit, but I'm not gonna be able to show, dig through everything here because there's this unit and then the other unit is the same size, but it's more full. Like it's packed you know, up to the ceiling and a little more full than this is. But as you can see, we've got definitely got some mystery trunks here. Funny thing was, I couldn't even see these when I was bidding. The pictures were weird, the angle. I saw all this and I could see there, see that trunk right there? I could see that one. But the way the picture was, it didn't, it didn't give a, I guess it gave a picture from out here. Or it seemed like it, the one, the picture, all I could see was this stuff. But anyways, I didn't even notice these two trunks. But two vintage trunks here, another one back there. Look right here at this old glass. Oh, it's on an old one, sorry. It's a new one, but it's still cool. One of those Mason little drink dispensers. We got one of these practice swords here. Dog cage, Cup, some, several pieces of glass. I don't like that. I always hate getting glass like that, but got to take it. We got a street sign here, W Shadburn, West Shadburn Avenue. All right. Other than that, just odds and ends. Looks like a bed frame back there. I don't know if that's a chair or what's sticking up there. But definitely curious to see what's going to be in the trunks, if anything at all. Here's a skateboard. Let's see what kind of board this is. Foundation skateboards. Okay. And then we have a wakeboard here. Hyperlite 137 fluid wakeboard. I don't know anything about wakeboards to know if that one's anything decent at all. Oh, here's a new balance box. We'll look in here real quick. See if we got some shoes or what. Nope, it's the typical shoe box that has um, paperwork in it. All right, but we're about to start loading digging in and we will show i will show what's um or at least open the trunks if there's a million little things in there i won't have time to dig through it all but we will open the trunks right now as we get them out good thing is it's not a crazy hot hot day but it is kind of hot right here because the sun is shining right on the front of this unit and it's <laughs> it's glaring off this ramp every time i kind of move a little bit it kind of shines right into my eyes so it's pretty warm in this spot but it's not not the typical Georgia humidity today for this time of year. Air is pretty dry, but it is hot, but can't do too much complaining. But let's dig in. All right, this container here. On the top is some utensils, but look right in here. I just found some some goodies down in here. Oh, I'm knocking that off on them. We got some vintage Pyrex. Let's see what we got. That is a, um, I, I think that's an unusual pattern. I haven't really seen much of that before. I don't know if that means it's worth anything or not, but here we go. We got this pattern. I've seen this, but that's a, a nice piece there. 
And is there any more? That might be it. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I think there is some more. Oh, yeah. Several more pieces in This one's got the lid right here. Look at this one. It's the snowflake pattern on it. That's nice. There's another piece down in here. At least one more piece. Something with the lid. Oh, yeah, look at this. Solid yellow, but look at that lid on that. It's got like a sunflower. And it kind of feels like there's another piece inside of it. So this is a good box for sure. I don't know if there's any more down underneath these pieces. I think there is, yeah. There is more. So we'll definitely have to look deeper in that because I, I can see there's more tough i mean um pyrex down in the bottom there what was in that box there billy nothing good nothing good okay there's like pictures and stuff oh, okay like pictures that. is this like pictures let's see no leaves it was like a book it looked like uh, okay some old books here is that a dictionary or i don't know what standard that is standard international library let's yeah. go dictionary okay all right well so good box here so this is gonna be one it's kind of a kind of a junker unit but i think there's gonna definitely be some good stuff in here copyright 1954 1954 book so not real old but we'll keep looking here all right we do i didn't even notice this right in the front i was thinking maybe it was a computer but it's a big bose speaker i think this is like the, the subwoofer i don't know if there's any more bose speakers or not here's a speaker stand right in the front and then a cuisine art coffee maker just obviously dusty and stuff here but we'll keep it out see if we find any more bose speakers All right, nice flower pot here, and then look, it's full of railroad spikes. Nice little plant stand. We got a um, kicker CVR subwoofer there. Bottles and a Georgia. <laughs> it looks like a purple toolbox of some sort, but there's nothing in, no drawers or anything. Here, pull it out. This. The doors are like gone. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Just there's some. We got a Georgia cup there, and then looks like some Coke bottles, but but no drawers. I don't know. If, yeah, this way it's supposed to have drawers. All right. I think we can just about look into this trunk now. A little flower pot, candles. Let's see if there's gonna be anything. Interesting. We got a record player here, I believe. All right. Let's see. What do we have? Let's get nice interior there. Wallpaper. It looks like Josh we got um trinkets in here. Little candle holder. Looks like a lot of um decor. But what is this right here? America the beautiful, beautiful five ounce silver uncirculated coin. Open it and see. Oh, oh it's in there. Is that silver? What in the world? There's no paper or anything, is it? I mean, it fits into the thing there. I've never seen one of these big giant five ounce silver uncirculated coin. Look, Grand Canyon, Arizona. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Grand Canyon, Arizona. And there's a thing. Wow. There. Point nine nine point nine nine silver. I've never I've never seen one this big. That's pretty cool. All right, put it back in there. And there's like a little thing under it. All right, is there any more coins? Now we gotta we gotta dig down in here now. Let's see what else we got. Little shelf. I mean, nice little decorative pieces. Here's an old tin. Cracker Jack tin. It's just a reproduction, but it's still a little bit older one. It's a cool. One's from 1993. Here, hold that out for a second so we can, so it's not in our way. Here's another old, uh-oh, open that thing up. There's something in there, in that tin. Look at this, Winnie the Putin, Putin, Putin. happy holidays. Winnie the Putin? Winnie the Putin, yeah. <laughs> oh, it, sewing, oh, it's sewing, sewing stuff. Okay, that's still good, sewing stuff sells. Look at this right here, this is cool. I don't, it feels like it's empty though, but look at this wooden box. That is cool. To Shannon. Smoke hmm. a pen over that. Taco Mac, Swanee, Georgia. 
a gift from Honduras. Okay. All right. As you can see, more. Here's another. Look at this one. This one's cool. Little sugar. Or no, I'm sorry. Salt. Morton salt tin. But wait, there's more. Here is a Ritz. That one's empty. But there's a big wooden box here that says, wow. Is there going to be something wow I thought on it? it said mom on it. Oh, it does say mom. I was just reading it upside down. You're right. <laughs> yeah, you're Billy's right. right. It, says, it says mom. I was looking it upside down, so I thought it said wow. <laughs> it's all about, all about perspective. And inside of there, we got more stuff to put stuff in. A wooden box here, but it looks like it's empty. There's like some craft stuff down in there. So we'll hold off on that. Oh, thimbles. That's for the sewing stuff. We've got some little thimbles here. People collect these. Little shoes, but more thimbles. Disposable camera down there. I wonder, wonder what kind of pictures are on there. Picture frame. It's empty, like a cigar box. Oh, it's Cutco. Some kind of Cutco box. All right, let's, we're just gonna move back to in this direction where the silver coin was. All right, what is this? This is where the silver coin was. You look at this right here, this is cool. We got some quarters here. No silver coin. No silver coins, another thimble. This looks like a silver um, necklace. Now I'm questioning why what's in the store a coin like yeah, that. Mm -hmm. So there's a that's a sterling silver chain right there. This may be also, I think it is. Yep, it's more other right sterling silver bracelet. There's pieces of off of something. Could be silver also. Some more some pennies. We got a bullet here. Alright, now underneath there. Like there's box. another box let's see what we got whoa dang it the front just came out and the stuff kind of spilled out so there was jewelry down in here but it kind of fell out some more jewelry that's a silver it's i don't know if it's broken up a little silver Silver bracelet, and there's another silver bracelet. Lots of silver. Some earrings. I like silver. There's some more stuff down in there. We'll have to we'll dig all that out once we get once we get back. All right, what's in the top here? Let's see. All right. What do we have? Here is a Georgia Bulldog pendant. I think we have some more silver. Silver. That looks like, yep, that's silver, but it is broken, but somebody could still use it. More rings and stuff here. Are these silver? It looks like it. Yep, that's marked. So lots of sterling silver. As you can see here, lots of these are silver. Ooh, is this gold right here? Let's see. Um, I don't see a stamp on that as far as gold, but several of these are silver. So potentially, I have to look close. Maybe it's, uh, maybe a piece of gold or two, but it looks like several pieces of silver. Big piece ring. So we have definitely some goodies in this one. The um, the big coin <clears throat> for sure is the best thing. But lots of I mean nice tins and, and other goodies, and could be something hidden still in there. There's some mason jars down below that. All right, we got the other trunks here clear to look at. So let's flip this one open and see what we see. But just the trunks by themselves, really cool trunk. Cool look to them. Oh man, this one is empty. It's got a little mold mildew. It has the original tray, but man, it's in rough shape in here. But nothing inside of this one like the other one had. All right, Billy, let's set this one down. And look in that one. And they may both be empty. Oh, hold on. Okay. Yeah, let's just go ahead and take it over. Never mind. You didn't have a good grip. Just set it there for a second. Oh, man. Just set it there. Let's look at this one. Then we'll move it. All right, got a couple wooden windows here. All right, this one may be empty too. We'll see. There's something in it. 
<laughs> All right, we got um paper. Oh no, it's not paperwork. What is it? What is this? Just baseball cards. We got Eeyore, but it looks like there's cards or something in here. Oh, we got racing cards. Okay. So we got a few racing cards. Is the rest of it paperwork? I believe so. Books and warranties on appliances. We've got a license plate there. Oh, there is some, let's flip to the back. There is a few baseball cards, but they look like early 90s stuff, so not too good there. All right, there's a couple bags in here. Let's see. A bag of bags. I don't think there's nothing in here. I can kind of see like looks like curtains or something sticking out. Oh, we got like invitations or thank you cards or something like that. Oh, cardboard in the bottom. What is that? I don't know. All right, so this one, without digging all the way down, is not looking as good as the other one. Not near as good as the other trunk, but once again, the trunk though. That is an old trunk. So the trunks themselves worth a few bucks for sure. All right, so we're going to continue on. We do have a record player here. We get so many of these things. Haven't seen any records though at this point. All right, getting toward the back here. Here's a little cast iron. Ooh, it's a, yep, it's a Wagner 1891. And then we got a ooh, we got a Griswold here, 609. On the griddle there. We got dishes. We got dishes. Alright. Let me get that one. Too weak for it. Oh my gosh. That's why I didn't grab it. No, oh, it's dry running. Careful. Don't be breaking the merchandise. You take it out of your pay. All right, back in this corner here, we got a, definitely a project piece rocking chair. We got a fishing net here, though. But there's some other, I believe, furniture up underneath these blankets. Let's see what we got. That thing's missing. A whole bunch of pieces on the back there. As you can see here, we got the <clears throat> little two drawer chest with the big old mirror attached. That looks like it's in pretty good shape. Here's, here's another mirror to a different piece, a little oval mirror, maybe to one of these pieces. Let's see. What is this? Is that going to fall? Some sort of furniture here. Oh, I think it's, it might be a sewing machine. <laughs> I mean, they got sewing stuff. I think it's a sewing machine. Yeah, Except it is. Cord yeah, I see the cord and this moves. It's a sewing machine, so we'll, we'll wait to uncover that. Until we get back. This might be what the mirror goes on. Oh, this is like a vanity right here. All right, nice looking vintage piece here. I believe that mirror would go onto there. Bed, record player, there's a newer TV stand, and whatever else we got right here. All right, nice little wooded, divided little display thing here. They got a bunch of shelves in it, but people love these to put collectibles in. What is this up here in the plastic? like a painted jug like a big water jug or something that somebody painted and that's exactly what it is it's a big look at this this is awesome it's a glass water bottle but somebody painted this whole farm scene on it 
did a nice job on that. But other than that, over here, looks we got dishes. Looks like we got bags and stuff. There is stuff in them. We'll have to look through books. The last of the Mohicans, more books, picture frame, little hunting chair here, and then over in this one here. Oh, here's a piece of that rocking chair. But it looks like kind of some glass and household, <coughs> excuse me, decor. <coughs> Sorry, choking on the dust in here. That's pretty much it for this one. That's probably what we're going to show now. We're going to finish loading this thing up. And then we're going to head over to the other unit and see what we got. All right, there is the first unit on there. Here's the next one. This is the other 10 by 10 that I paid. I believe it's $360 for. This one's a little bit more full. It does have more big stuff in it though. <clears> There's <throat> some bigger pieces of furniture. It looks like a living room set, some mattresses. Do have a few things wrapped up in here. That's like wrapped up in like foil stuff and foam. Looks like a tabletop. But looks like a fairly nice grill here. Let's see. Yeah, it's not bad on the inside. It's clean. I mean, it's been used, but it's not like, covered in grease and everything. Is this saw in here? Does it feel like this? It doesn't feel like there's anything in there, but it is taped up. It's got all the styrofoam. Maybe this all is in the unit somewhere. Hopefully this set right here, though, is in good shape. Either a leather or a leather-like set. Those are always easy to sell as long as it's not ripped and torn up. We will see. But we've got about one hour, so we got to have this thing on here in less than an hour so we can make it back up to the office to get my deposit back. So not a whole lot of digging we're going to do in this one, but I don't think there's a whole lot of digging to do. That's a headboard. So headboard, um, couch cushions, grill, here's a tabletop, Christmas tree. I'm going to go ahead and try it. Billy's going to go ahead and start loading. Here's either a washer or a dryer underneath here. Oh, it's a washing machine. So it looks like a good furniture unit maybe. 